Uh, it's James Chimino for Observatório do Cinema in Brazil. Okay, you're rolling. Tudo bem. Tudo bem. <laughs> Hi guys, um, well, um, I like the movie because it's a good mixture of action and politics. And mm -hmm. I think it relates a little with the current political moment we're living, not only here in the United States, but also in my country. Most definitely I think country. you know that. Yeah. Yeah. So can you talk a little about it, how uh, the Robin Hood story is still relevant today and why? Yeah. I think, you know, um, sadly, you know, the inequalities between people, it's a time, it's an age old thing. And also, I think, sadly, you know, part of humanity is that when people, people have power, there's always an agenda and there's always, um, you know, people who will abuse power. And I think, you know, looking at the world now and, you know, world leaders who, seemingly say anything and still be, you know, in power. I think there's a nice parallel in our film where, you know, there's a message of not, maybe not being able to trust totally what what those in charge are saying. Um, mm -hmm. And I think, you know, people hopefully will relate to it because we live in a world of widening wealth gaps. And, and in terms of uh, religion and politics, mm -hmm. why do you think we repeat ourselves so much? Well, those, those are things that you can't get away from. So those, so I think saddle in because you need religion and you need politics. It's the people. See, like, there are always times where you'll see people who are in politics that who are actually good, like, you know, who, whatever side they're on, they have the ability to see good in everybody. And the same with religion. And then sometimes you'll get people that aren't so good at it. So that's when people rally around. It's a, it's a bit of a cycle, you know? And so that's why in, in, in our movie, you see the cycle happening where the not so good people are in charge. And so when little John, who's been fighting in the trenches and seeing the evil up close, knowing that there's something behind the curtain, and he finally sees something decent in him, which I always say we don't have enough of. We always look for the worst in people. We never look for the good. So he sees good in him, sees good in his own. And it and it's it, it almost parallels, you know, us. Like, you know, seeing him take this part. It's like, wow, that's gonna be something amazing to see how differently we portray it and see these guys seeing the cycle of evil come to a head and now they're going to undo it so the people uh, are allowed to uh, uh, allowed to flourish.